given a number of bits, what is the maximum value that we can represent? So if we have one bit, we have two values, 0 and 1, so therefore the maximum value is going to be 1. With two bits, our maximum binary value is 1, 1, which is in denary equivalent to 3. And then if we have three bits, maximum binary value is 1, 1, 1, and the equivalent denary value is 7. If we have four bits, it's now 1, 1, 1, 1, which is 15. And if we have five bits, and hopefully you can see a pattern emerging, but let's see if that's the case. We've got five ones, and that is 31. So what you'll notice is the maximum denary value can actually be represented by 2 to the n, where n is the number of bits, minus 1. So therefore, for 6, 2 to the 6 would be 64, minus 1, so that would actually be 63 as the maximum value for 6 bits. Not to be confused with a maximum value, we can also work out the number of different values given a number of bits. So if we have one bit, we can actually have two different values, so that's 0 and 1. If we have two bits, we have four different values, so that's 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. If we have three bits, we actually have eight different values that we can represent. If we have four bits, it's 16. And if we have five bits, it's 32. So again, you should see a pattern in that. And actually, the number of different values we can use to represent, uh, given the fixed number of bits in binary, is 2 to the n. Not to be confused with the maximum value, which is 2 to the n minus 1, which we've just discussed. So yes, yeah, really easy to get confused between those two. And the reason why the number of different values is different from the maximum number is because we're starting at zero. So we end up with an extra, extra value. 